Hello and welcome back to Fallout 4 Mods with me, your host, Crypto at Crypto Gamer. In today's video, guys, we are going to be looking at a piece of cut content um, known as the Senpar. Now, this creature never actually made it into the game, but somebody made a mod to uh, pop it back into the game. So, if you're looking for an immersive playthrough, um, like with my last video that i done on the Lampy Floaters, this creature is going to be for you guys. Um, as you can see, they are a complete redesign from the original Centaurs from Fallout 3 and Fallout Vegas. But nonetheless, I actually think it fits the Fallout universe a little bit better because it would have been nice to see more mutants with um, mutations like this, you know, with the odd arms sticking out here and the odd legs sticking out there. Um, now, overall, I think this creature was done relatively okay. Um, I'm pretty sure it uses the Mutant Hound mod, um, <gasps> the Mutant Hound base model. Now, as you can see, guys, it's got three heads, um, but when you look at it in VAT, it only has one primary head, and then the rest of it is basically body and legs. Um, I actually think overall it's a good little mod. It does the job quite well. It was really hard locating these creatures to make a video on, simply because it's surprising how low the spawn rate is for these creatures. This one was actually in the Midford Memorial Hospital. Um, actually, no, this was in the mall um, opposite the Midford Memorial Hospital. And, uh, yeah, so it was, it was quite good. Um, if you are willing to stick around, guys, this is what the meat looks like. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you um, what the meat is like when it's being cooked. Because you can actually cook it and turn it into a, a food supply. It's pretty much just a remodel of a mutant hound shop. It has the same statistics as a mutant hound shop once you've actually cooked it up. So we're back in Sanctuary, guys, and what we'll do is we'll cook this up and have a look at it. And we'll also cook up some floater meat as well. Remember guys, if you really enjoy my content, please like, share and subscribe to the uh, channel so that you can stay up to date. I'm aiming for about 10 likes on this video, so if you've enjoyed the video so far, please subs uh, subscribe, you know, consider it. Now, when it comes to... Uh, variations this creature also does have a glowing variation as well as you'll see now and um, i actually think it's quite nice looking it kind of looks like the animal is black with green tattoos all over it which i thought was quite cool take down this super mutant here um this was in the office building to the medford center as well which was good like I say, finding these creatures is not easy. It's not easy to find them overall. Um, so you're not going to run into these centaurs a lot in particular. As you can see, the artwork I think is quite beautiful. The guy done a very good job at retexturing this to make a glowing variant. Um, which was quite smart. As you can see, they, they do have a poisonous spit that damages you. Um, this creature would not be easy to take down in survival mode, as you can tell, because it's got a ranged attack. And here's another regular centaur outside the 360 hub, guys. Um, as I say, anywhere where super mutants and particularly super mutant hounds spawn, these creatures will appear. And they will usually appear alongside the hounds. I don't know if they replace one of the hounds or whether they spawn in directly next to it. But nonetheless, we'll take down this centaur. Put him right in the bum hole, I think. Here that goes. So yeah, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe. And this has been Crypto Gamer, guys. Peace out and have a good day.